Behind this door is something very special and very, very cool. And in my opinion, it's cooler than any of my RC cars. It's even better than my Ranger. And that's my favorite. Anyway, let's not drag this out. Yes. <laughs> After I don't know how long of searching and dreaming of owning a Mark I Hilux, here she is, my new shop truck. It's not strictly a Mark I, it's a Mark I four-wheel drive. The very first Hilux is like the first generation were two-wheel drive. This is the Mark I 4x4, the one that everyone knows. And if we're getting really picky, it's a second generation Mark I because it's got the square lights. The very first Mark I's had round lights, this one's slightly later, it's a 1982. Um, it's got the square lights. This is exactly how um, it turned up. I've not had a chance to clean it yet. I have taken the inner arches out. We'll talk about that in a minute. But this is awesome. I've just been looking at it. It's just been sat here for a couple of days and I just keep standing and uh, <laughs> admiring it. What a beast. So this one came from Malta. So a nice, hot, dry country. I've eyeballed it a little bit and there's a few little areas of corrosion. There's a there's a bit right down underneath there. Oh, and there's a couple of bits up, kind of up there somewhere. And over that side, there's a couple of bits under the dash. And that's why the inner arches are out, because I wanted to check right up behind here. And it's safe to say, apart from that little bit you can see there, it's pretty solid up there. Considering this truck's 40 years old, I'd say that's pretty good. The guy did say he could swap these wheels out for the originals, but Come on. As much as some people like the original stuff, I wanted the big BF Goodrich ones. It looks way better with them. Brown and beige interior. I'm gonna change the seats. I don't like that red and black. It just doesn't go. All original in here, even the original stereo. The sticker for your four x four selections. The original manual. Everything works. Everything's clean. We've even got, I've not even opened this yet, the original toolkit. I think they came with like some spanners and stuff but but original all original the beds had like all this welded in this is all it's been covered up i don't know what what stuff was being loaded into this but that's definitely not original it's all been plated up there worst bit really is here it looks like it's got some filler or bondo as you call it a few little scabs down here tow bar a good honest truck and i love it this view is definitely my favorite of that grill, that iconic grill. Now, although this, if you look all under the carpet, so again, it's all, all solid under there. It's all this purple or this maroon color. You can see it's got some wear on it. It's got lots of dents and scratches over it. It's obviously been working, which is good. A good, honest truck. All that's maroon and stuff all up in there as well. But the actual original color is red. Looking at the color code on the VIN plate, red was the original color, but I think it's been this color for quite some years. And the fact that it's everywhere apart from in the engine bay means that it must have been completely stripped down. Maybe at some point in its 40 years, it's had a bit of a restoration on it. But from what I can see, it's solid, absolutely solid. I mean, look at this chassis. A few little specks of surface rust. I've looked at pickups that are like six, seven years old that have already got like holes and corrosion on the chassis rails. A bit dirty and stuff under the engine, needs a good going over. 40 years old, mad. The old locking hubs as well. This side's nice and free, the other side's a little bit sticky, so maybe need to look at that. Nice and clean under here. 2.2 .2 diesel, yeah, I don't think it was available in the UK as a, a diesel. Um, I think we had the petrol. I don't know where else had this 2.2 .2, like naturally aspirated diesel, but it's, I think it's a mighty 60 brake horsepower. So what are my plans for it? Well, so before I can register it, I just need to get it MOT. If you're not in the UK, it's basically you have to get them every year. Because of the age of this, it will be MOT exempt. 
but to register it, you need an initial MOT. So fingers crossed that it passes the checks. And I've bought a load of underbody treatments and built hamber stuff. So I'm gonna clean it all underneath, blast it all off with a jet wash, let it dry, treat it all, rust proof it all underneath. I'm gonna strip out the interior, make sure it's all clean in there, treat the bits that are behind the dash that I can already see. And then I'm just gonna enjoy it for a bit. It's a slow diesel, it's only got a four speed gearbox. People say, oh, they drive like shit. Well, it's a 40 year old Hilux. I don't care, I just wanna drive it around. I don't care it's got no power steering. I don't care it's only got a four speed box. I don't care it's only gonna do probably 50 mile an hour. I will be one of the coolest people on the road. And I can guarantee you that if I pull up at a set of lights and there's a brand new 911 turbo sat next to me, more people will be interested in the Hilux than the Porsche. Even though this is my dream car, more people will be interested in this. I guarantee it. So there's the new shop truck. I thought I'd introduce you to it. I'll keep you updated with it. I'll probably switch it over to the second channel and I'll take you on the journey of enjoying my new Hilux. Well, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I had to give her a bit of a clean. She comes up lovely. Much better. I've also given it a blast underneath so it's ready for some uh, chassis protection. And I'm not sure I'm gonna get away with tinted glass in the UK, which is a shame because it looks good. Before I turn the camera on, I've just been stood looking at it at this angle and then kind of moving over and looking at it at this angle as well. Oh.